Hi everyone and welcome to my place. It's all about St Patrick's Day today and I should really have a lovely glass of stout but it's 10 o'clock in the morning and it's far too early. But if you want something really cool and groovy to do to celebrate with some flowers, I have got you covered. But before I go too far, I want to introduce you to my really wonderful, wonderful book of facts and all sorts of knowledge. And it's called How the Irish Saved Civilization. It's a really great read. It's filled to overflowing with lots and lots of information and I love it. And the reason I'm doing and think that I should be doing St. Patrick's Day flowers is because, believe it or not, I am half Irish, my father's from Belfast, he came all the way to New Zealand to meet my mother who was part Maori and I am the result. And the result of today's flowers I think you will love. Right, I've got a green leaf plate here and my vessel today is going to be, oops if I can get it out, a cabbage. Look at that. When I was growing up, we had concannon all of the time, and I love, love, love cabbage. And the other thing about this is it's all crinkly and it looks like a rose. So we're going to be using roses, and I'm going to be using some lovely um, Washingtonia leaves to go with it, and I think you'll really love it. Right, the first thing to do is you've got to get into your cabbage here, and what I do is I do a, a score like a diamond, and I cut in about that much into the cabbage, and then I get a bucket with some icy, icy cold water and I put it into that icy cold water and what happens with the ices and the coldness it just makes the cabbage all rip open so that you still get these lovely lovely leaves here that look like the opening of petals of your rose. Then what I do is I just get in there and I just take all the cabbage out of that cavity we had for dinner last night and then it's just a matter of getting a block of oasis which I've soaked in some water just sort of kind of round those areas off so that 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 fits neatly into the cavity of the cabbage down into there. Be careful with the leaves because we want those leaves because they are part of it. Right, push that, give that a push down there. Any leaves of the cabbage in the road, just take those out of there. Right, the next thing to do is I've got some rose leaves plus the Washingtonia and these beautiful roses. And the reason I'm using the white roses is because they are for peace and for harmony. And I love the cabbage as a beautiful vehicle. And this will last for a couple of days, but don't leave it too long because the cabbage will start to smell. All right, the first thing I'm going to do is I'm just going to put in a few more leaves and I really wanted to use some uh, fi uh, four leaf clovers but unfortunately I couldn't find any and if you're looking at my buttons, at these little buttons and thinking that they're marijuana, they're not, they were just a little green thing but I do have my shamrocks in my ears as well. So I'm feeling very, very Irish today and as a child when we were growing up, St Patrick's Day was always a really lovely event at our place and there was lots of singing and lots of stories and my father I think is the best storyteller in the world with all the little wee things that he did as a boy and the myths and the fables etc etc et was always so exciting for me. Okay those leaves into there, getting these leaves I've cut those all to the same size as well and I'm just going to push those into there. So it's really cool, I really love it that you can use a, a vegetable or a fruit or something like that to make a nice arrangement in. Makes designing so much easier and I just love the, the use of the cabbage because that you know gives me another bit of peace and harmony as well. Right, getting the roses, I've cut those all to the same length and I might just cut that just a little bit shorter and these just get placed in and around the exterior and I work from the outside and I should have cut these a wee bit shorter before I started all around the exterior of the rim or the, oh, well, I'm calling it the container but just push those all into there like so in a pattern that suits you and do leave a bit of room for the roses to open as well too if you're doing this a couple of days in advance. But I just love that, you know, the rose with the rose. And it wasn't until I was looking into this one day that I thought, oh, into a cabbage. And I thought, Gosh, doesn't that just look like a rose? And I think it may have been um, my father that told me when I was a little girl and I was asking questions about where did I come from. He told me that he they found me down the garden path under a cabbage. So if anybody out there looking at me thinks that I'm a bit strange, well, there you go. It's because my father told me I came from from under a cabbage and for years I believed him. So just keep going until that's all filled in like so and there we have a really simple lovely container 
for the celebration of St Patrick's Day and the other thing about this is it's not too high and I'll be able to see over my, from, across the table and it will be a really lovely talking point at my place for St Patrick's Day. Happy St Patrick's Day and I'll see you another day.